Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, one of the best agencies I think that we have, they have saved U.S. consumers hundreds of millions of dollars. They have, um, you know, uh, uh, and, and here is a Republican congressman. It is, I, I, I'm stunned by this clip, to be honest with you. It is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Again, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Why do I keep saying that over and over again? Because I have a feeling that this Republican congressman, uh, it is Dan Muser, Republican from Pennsylvania, never un never saw the entire name of the thing spelled out. Instead, he probably saw just the CFPB. Um, this is just, I, I find this just really impressive. This is uh, the House Financial Services Committee hearing uh, from last week. So, you know, I talk to a lot of banks, <clears throat> small banks, under a billion dollars, five billion dollars, regionals, super regionals, throughout Pennsylvania, the big guys on Wall Street, and they're really not happy. Pause it for one second. Pause it for one second. You know, he is basically just talking about all his major donors. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, the like I, I talk to, to people on Wall Street and I talk to these guys and because he's just walking around wherever it is in Pennsylvania he is and he's running into these guys on the street corner. No, yeah. he's on the House Financial Services Committee. He doesn't even understand the, the freaking scam he has got going. It's just these guys seem to like me a lot. No way. That's why they're speaking to me so much, a.k.a. giving me so much free speech. And by that, I mean All right. money. All right. Go take it from the beginning. Little super regionals throughout Pennsylvania, the big guys on Wall Street. And they're really not happy with your agency. So let's just let's just start there. I mean, I mean, I mean, across the board, I mean, the largest banks down to the smallest, have uh, many concerns. So, you know, the idea that the CFPB is doing a great job is foreign to me, okay? Because every single bank I talk to, I'm not talking about, you know, three out of five. It's like 19 out of 20. So, so I, I, I assume you got some sort of reviews taking place, taking information in on your final rules and and be responsive to the clientele that you're supposed to be helping. Oh my God! Just to be clear, the clientele of the CFPB is not banks. The clientele is the public, and often it is true. What there will be differences with entities that we who serves the public revise. Do the banks serve the public? Of course, they have pu important so, public. So matter. they're they're a link in the chain. Of course, and we want those who follow the law to be able to not get a disadvantage by those who don't. And I hear your concerns, but at the end of the day, we have to make sure that our consumer protection objective. You're going too far. Now, let's even talk about the the. Uh, all right, let's let's, let's uh, we can stop there. I mean, first of all, uh, Chopra deserves a medal for not saying, "Are you effing kidding me? The banks aren't our clients." Yeah, but I wish he guy, did honestly. And the and and I honestly don't think that that congressman knew what the name of the 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 agency was. I mean, the idea that he would say publicly, like the Consumer Financial Protection Protection Bureau, <laughs> we, we, you're you're protecting the consumer from financial institutions, banks. Yeah. But he can't. It doesn't register with him that a regulatory agency or any government agency wouldn't be serving industry. I mean, it, that's the Republican a, way. But it's part of the link. Well, I guess it's part of the link. I mean, insofar as like, they're the ones who consumers need protection from because we have Wells Fargo literally shoving uh, their customers into um, uh, products that they didn't know that they were in. We have like uh, fees for everything. Uh, we have uh, banks overcharging. I mean, it, I, I just, <laughs> it's amazing. That guy had no idea what he was talking about. Uh, yeah. and, and again, Chopra, I think, showed a lot of restraint in not just laughing at him. 